Okay. All right. Hey, this is good to test because today I made a mini reed diffuser. Isn't it cute? Anyway, um, if you're ever wondering what to do with those old salt shakers you have that you can't use because you got about 40 of them and salt really isn't that good for you if you use that many salt shakers in a day, it's really not good. You know, but anyway, so you just, there's so many pretty ones. This is just a plain one, and um, I got them pretty cheap at the thrift shops. Um, I'm not, you know, now there's going to be a run on them because you're going to see what I'm doing, but anyway, I got a lot of them. Um, so then I just screw off. I don't know whether this is the salt or a pepper shaker. See, that's the problem, but it doesn't matter. You unscrew the top. You just take your standard canola oil. Don't get fancy because we're trying to do this the cheapest way that we can. And you take some bamboo skewers. Now some of these, some of the skewers, most of them are bamboo, but um, some of them are just wood, other kind of wood. But these are good because bamboo has all these tiny little um, fiber things that can suck up the oil and the um, essential oil that's in it. So, okay, so then I take 0.9 ounces of canola oil. I weighed that out on my scale in a little cup. And um, just enough for in our uh, shaker. And um, I used nine drops of cassia bark essential oil. That's kind of like a real strong cinnamony. And five drops of sweet orange and five drops of geranium. These are all essential oils. And then I took up just a popsicle stick or whatever, and I mixed it in real good. And um, I cut these two like in half, so they came to about six inches. You want to cut off the pointy end because you want not a lot of surface um, for the oils to get pulled up through the, the rods. Okay, then what I'm going to do is I'll let this sit for a while, and I want it to saturate, and then I'm going to pick them up, turn them over, and put them back in. And um, then that's going to get the process going. And then I'm going to just kind of put it in an area where I, I you know, be able to smell it uh, good. And if it needs more oil, essential oils, I'm just going to add more because sometimes I think these recipes, you need more because that's a fair amount of oil for the few drops that we had. So that's um, your Frugal Prosumer project for the day. Easy, easy. And cheapy, weepy, I mean, you've got to get the essential oils, but you don't need the real expensive ones. Just lavender is a very affordable, lavender, peppermint, whatever, is very affordable. And I'm going to put a little decoration on this jar. That's it.